stone tools, man. There's nothing else we can do now because that. Nothing at all. Hello, everybody. Hope you're well. There she is in all her unscaffolded glory. Excellent. Right, uh, we will be waiting until the customers have got all their carpet fitted in there before we go in and give it a grand tour. But we are all finished from the loft and we are today starting the extension. A few bits have happened since we last saw you. We've taken this garage down. We have left this bit here as a bit of shelter just for us, just in case, uh, well, when the rain does come, we've got somewhere just to run into, save messing the house up. Um, with this, it was just a wooden roof, uh, just stripped it all out, stripped it all back, got it all out, um, and then took it down, basically. Then we then cut this with the steel saw, and then literally just pushed the wall over, and that done us. And now we haven't been able to do anything other than that for a bit, because, the digger driver can only come today. This is all done last week. So we'll be waiting for him for a bit. And there was no point moving that down the drive and blocking the drive off for a week. So it was all a bit of a make a mess and leave it kind of thing. In the meantime as well, I took this down, I've left the toilet in, save uh, capping it all off. You know, the stuff we've been at the time. Looks a bit silly there, doesn't it? Took all that down, um, didn't really film it. I did film some highlights though, so here that is. Yep, yeah, great. And I have already cut, run the steel sword up there. I've got, I've got my brake, I'll break that out so when it comes round to dig all that out, that can already be done. And that is basically it. We've also got a bit of machinery coming today, not just Mick. Uh, we've got a little one ton mini dumper thing that I can just drive up and down the driveway with. It's a bit steep, so we'll get that in. Make it life a bit easier for ourselves. No one's getting any younger. And that is it. So we'll keep you updated and we'll dig it all out. And uh, we'll show you how we're getting on. First job is we're going to reduce the ground first. We're going to get all these slabs up, get them down, and get the ground down to where it needs to be. Uh, I think it's about 400 to 450 mil. I'll do some working out in a bit. Um, from damp gorse. This side, as you can see, is already significantly lower. That's more or less done. Just get the slabs out, that's done. Get these out and drag it all out. And then we'll come back up and start digging all out the foundations. So that's that. Right then, let's crack on. Good morning now, we're cracking on a bit. I've just, what we've done the toilet, broken all the, uh, all the concrete up, ready for the digger to have a go at. Speaking of the diggers, and he's just having a go at that there, getting rid of all that rubble. That rubble was, as I said, the garage and the outhouse behind me. So all that's now uh, bottom of the drive, very nearly. About another, oh, what do you reckon, about 20 minutes left on that. And then we'll start clearing the site. I'll start digging these foundations, and then we'll go into a bit more detail as to what kind of foundations they are and why, we, uh, why we're doing what we're doing. All that's cleared now. Tony's just making his little ramp up to get up to this area and we'll start taking all these slabs up and then we'll finally get to see what this patch have is made up from because how deep that is that is let me tell you Paige. four hundred mil deep to the bottom so there's been a bit of a theory that there might have been steps down here at some point and all this ground is made up of something, but the neighbour's been out and he doesn't seem to think that that was the case. He's been here since the 80s, but strange, it's that deep. But we shall see, we shall see. We'll get it all up now. Got it all going on now. Crabs come to the first load. My little dumper trucks arrived. Not where I thought I'd ordered. I thought I would like a, like a, like a barra thing, but this thing's turned up. Excellent, bit of an issue. Uh, head height there, but duck under, it goes, it's okay. Tony's ready to slow him me up, straight down there. So it's all systems go for a bit, bodes well for tomorrow. It's almost mostly awkward bit. I'll show you what we found in that trench over there, it's not great news, but uh, we'll go for that in a second. We'll get all these unloaded for now, and then we'll come back to that in a bit. Okay then, end of day one, mix just Doing a bit of clean up outside. I'll show you now what we've got up to today. It's always a bit slow, day one. Um, slow to start, I should say. 
you've got to get the machinery in, you've got to clear the space, blah blah blah. But when you get going, you do get going, and it does make for uh, a better day for tomorrow. So I'll turn you around and I'll show you what we've got done today. All that's been cleared, took down, and it's gone, as you saw from the grab earlier. That thing's ace. I didn't think it'd be that big when I hide it. And it can just fit on the sides, just, but it's, uh, it's ace, man. So I can a ton every time going down, brilliant. Um, we've managed to get about halfway with the dig. Uh, oh, I haven't really told you about the job, have I? Um, it's a single story, lean to roof, same as that, out four metres, and going the width of the house all the way down, which is going to cause its own problems when we meet the manhole there, which is smack bang in line with where we've got to build, so that's going to be moved out. We'll, we'll come to that, explain more to that uh, later on in the video. Coming back to what we found down here, we had a fair bit of information about what we were going to find in here, in this trench. Uh, the neighbour came out and he said this, he's got two pipes that run under his extension, and there they are. Now I didn't think, or I was hoping they weren't going to be encased in concrete, but they are. You can just see that one there, look. Just there. Now, for all we know, this is an original building here, original to the house. So, for all I know, that concrete goes all the way down into where it meets the inspection chamber down there. So, I don't know what the building inspector is going to make us do with that. Normally, you come across pipes in the trench, clay ones, you change them for plastic, you shut them off so no concrete goes anywhere near them, and then you build over them, lintel over them, and, and away you go. Don't know what they're going to make me do with that. I'd rather not break it out because we don't know if we're ever going to get the concrete off the pipes enough in order to get a decent connection and the connection needs to be outside of the, the footing. So we'll have a conversation about that with them when they come out to inspect. But there we go, it is where it is. Uh, this part of the country, this is just trench foundations, which is a metre down from ground level, 600mm wide. And then you put a minimum of 600 mil concrete in. Now what we do, we fill it, we fill the trench. Can't to the point in putting minimal concrete in and then working in a trench, which is really awkward. So we'll just fill them up best we can. Now where that will come a little bit a cropper is when it drops down here. So it's going to be a step foundation down to there. So, but we'll come across that a little bit later on. Uh, right then, that is it for today. It's getting dark. So. On to Tuesday. Right then, new day, new haircut. Don't worry, I'll get it finished next week. I'm a bit late to this party, as you can see. Everyone's already doing it. First, my van's poorly, I'll have to get it. Let's get it to the doctors. So, plan for today is to get more and more digging. So, we'll crack straight on with it. It's fighting back this dig out. As you can see, we've got this big slab of concrete going across the entire thing which is once that's out it's taken us a bit further down than what we'd like but leaving it in means we're too high so it's one of them it's just got to come out but this is what happens sometimes you just sometimes they go beautifully other times you find stuff that sets you back a bit but it's just one of them mick's just going to set up the breaker to break these huge slabs of concrete that are coming up to make it more manageable I've decided just to concentrate on the efforts on finding out what this is. It turns out this bit of it is a land drain. These bits of 300mm clay pipe just butted together, not connected in any way. But then the water comes down and just perforates out from the, the slots, and there we go. Which is well, it's horrendous, isn't it? Why would you want that? So we're going to have to wait and see what the building inspector wants from that. Um, that's going to go all the way down, isn't it? So we'll see. Suck it and see on that one. As you can see, the concrete, it's only a little thin thing on there. Uh, the, the actual pipe is on the other side and I'm kneeling on another lump of concrete here. So I'll dig this out and see where I can find underneath this. And then might have to do the old CCTV job. The other side to the land drain thing, whatever it is we found, we found our main fell waste going through. Now I'm less concerned about that than I was in terms of 
having to break out this concrete because there's a lot less concrete there than I originally thought. I thought it was proper in case, but it isn't. It just it just goes over the top. I mean, I don't know, you know, whatever. But so I'll be able to break that out, I reckon, taking it very careful because luckily our collar is there. And if we can take that out carefully and keep the pipe, the, uh, the mailing that goes into that intact, we can connect straight onto that. This side, we've obviously got the rest of the world to play with going that way, but so I want to be careful with it. So I'm less concerned about that than I thought I was. Land drain is a world of unknown to me, but that's what building inspectors are for, to tell us what to do with that. Because that does not have an inlet or an outlet on this property. There's an inspection chamber, perfectly in line with that, that goes all the way down, just behind the digger there. And it's got one six inch main straight into it, which I believe is that. Not that, that must just terminate somewhere around here. Don't know. We shall see. Bit of a happy accident this was. Mick bought this thinking it was a, uh, a big four foot thing. Um, it must have looked bigger in the picture somehow and it turned up and it's just his handheld tool. But as it turns out, it is great for getting under here and exposing under that footing. So, you know, turning a negative into a positive and all that, every cloud. This is why you've got to be careful when you're digging out. But don't go hell for leather. Even when you don't think anything's there, you ought to be careful because Look how similar those two things look there. Except the top one is a root that's broke off, that's, that's grown straight over what is a 15 mil live copper water pipe. So, we could have each just gone straight through that. Luckily, we found it there first and then traced it back, but I can't believe how similar those two look with side by side. You just put your shovel through it thinking that the test, the test the top one, oh that's wood that is. Boom, you go straight through them and all of a sudden you've flooded the place. So what we think is, when we were doing the loft, turn the water off to the house, did the radiator work, blah blah blah, that tap didn't isolate. So we think it's got its own little special feed all by itself in that copper pipe that goes down the driveway to one of two stopcocks that are on the bottom of the drive, so we just dug them out, turn them off, find out which one it is, see if the house still works, and then we can get rid of that, put an elbow on it, put our tap there, temporary, so we can use it, and then that all that will be dead. Crap time you here, isn't it? It gets dark so early now. Um, I hope you can see that, quality won't be good, but... So we're good all the way down there, all the way to this point here. We've just got a little bit further to come before we go to the side of the house. All that's been leveled down to where we need it to be. And what really scuppered us towards the end of the day was finding what you can barely see now was this copper pipe round here. Uh, we had to find this, the uh, stopcocks on the drive, so there's four of them, so we had to mess around. And of course, we're full of water and blah, blah, blah. However, I think that's enough digging for one video Do you. It's, uh, done the border memories off you so we'll get it all tied up tomorrow finish it all off and then we'll come back to it and then we'll show you exactly what we've got <laughs> man absolute state of me uh right fast forwarded we are now a couple of days ahead uh and the building inspector came this morning everything went well he went away he found me about half an hour ago with some devastating news which means that it hasn't gone so well. So we'll turn you around, we'll show you what we've done, and we'll show you what now needs to be done. Dug all this out, shuttered it all off. We've got, I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom in, just, just there. That there is the outlet of the uh, manhole so that's our lowest point which dictates the depth of our footings so it's all down to the bottom of that that now can be dug out here once it's all concreted that shuttering is there for the concrete so we'll concrete up to it there and then we'll concrete to that give it plenty of space and then we will 
concrete, uh, bigger pardon, lintel, straight over that and away we go, so that's fine. And then once that's concreted, we can take that down, place that pipe in plastic and we'll dig a hole here and put a new inspection chamber there. So that's all been shuttered off, we had a bit of a clap so we've done all that. These things here are just for the dog to be able to come out and go into the garden. Um, yeah, so it's all done. As, as always, as normal, except the building inspector came, said, yeah, everything's fine, I'll just double check something and I'll let you know. And he's called me back. And this offending article, because this exists and it is within certain distance of the footings, even though it's being removed, the footings have to go down another 800 mil, which will be by hand at this stage because you can't get a digger back in here, or the footings have got to be piled. So that is a down tools job. So there we go. There was nothing on the drawings about it. The building inspector said the architect should have noticed. Who cares? If we do or didn't. Still, still need piling, if it did. So we'll still be in the same boat here. It's just that when you get that call at 10 to 4 on a Friday and you've got the concrete books on Monday, you think, oh man, nightmare. And because this thing here, even that's been removed. But it is where it is. Building inspectors are in charge and we have to appease them. It's as simple as that. So, plus the fact that we've never had a piling video before. So we'll have that. So I've done some frantic Googling, some phoning. I've got three quotes coming in. And we'll see. We'll see how much that's going to put on it. I've never done it before, so I don't know. But, for the people I've just spoke to, it's all fairly simple stuff. It's all straightforward for them. They do it all the time. So, we shall see. We shall see. So until then, it's down to us. So, bear with us. There will be a new episode of this. When the concrete goes in, or the piling, whatever. We shall see. So, we'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, uh, have a great weekend. And, uh, yeah. See you soon.